Matilda. Alice. Cousin Marky, nice to meet you. Ah! Oh, Marky. Boys will be boys. You two run along and play. Matilda and I have some catching up to do. Come on, Marky. You can see my bike and my dog, Ruff, and meet my friend, Mr. Wilson, and... I gotta stop him. Marky, you'll fall and break your... Kavishkas or something. Fish, but this is oh. Ah! Dennis? Gosh, Mom, I'm sorry, but you two go outside and play in peace. Boy, she just doesn't understand. Marky, hey Marky, huh? Run for it, run! Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Aunt Matilda, you won't believe this, but I actually get into trouble, too, sometimes. I'll say he does. <laughs> Brilliant! 
I've never seen such scores. We must get this young man, PB, into our advanced science program at once. Dean Weisenheimer, I know this boy. He helped me on one of my special projects. The only thing I don't know is what he looks like. I must get some new eyeglasses. Yeah, yeah, never mind that. We must go find him and bring him to the college at once. Mach schnell! Hurry up! The ball, yeah? Thanks for the help, PB. Joey threw it right to me. He couldn't miss, thanks to my laser guided homing device. Here, you try it. I've got to go study my algebra. Boy, he's weird. He likes to do homework. Catch Ruff! Young man, we'd like to talk to you about our new science program at college. You want to talk to me? I am Dean Weisenheimer, and this is Professor Squizzer. Oh, hi, Professor Squizzer. Peavy told me... Yes, Peavy. Will you please come meet us to the university? We'll give you a full scholarship, and you have the entire laboratory at your disposal. Okay. But I don't know anything about that stuff. Come now, you're too modest. Now let's go. Schnell, schnell. Boys and girls, meet the newest prodigy for our program. Good luck, young man. I'll be hearing about you, I'm sure. Hi. What's your special interest, physics or thermodynamics? Well, I'm specially interested in frogs and snakes. Whoa! Ah! Oh, 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 Laboratory. I'll be back later to see how you're doing. Hi. What you doing in there? Dennis is where? At the college. There's been some kind of mistake. You're telling me. Peavy's mom just called. I think they mistook Dennis for Peavy. Well, come on. We'd better get over there before something terrible happens. Now, dear, I'm sure there's no reason to worry. What harm could a small boy do in a college science lab? What am I saying? Dennis's work. <laughs> that definitely looks like Dennis's work. Dennis, there you are. Hi, Mom. Is everything all right? Sure. This is fun. I even got a helper. Helper? Thanks, Rodney. Rodney? <laughs> Alice! Alice! Are you all right? 
make it an experiment. Son, I wouldn't do that. Oops. Dennis, you've got to get that thing back before it causes any <laughs> trouble. Okay, Dad. Come on, Rodney. Son, wait. What happened? I don't think you want to know. He must be around here somewhere. There he goes! <laughs> There goes my new prize pupil, a real genius. Excuse me, but that was my son, and there must be some mistake here. He isn't... Recognized as a genius, he is. I understand your frustration, sir, but don't worry. We are going to put him in charge of all our research from now on. Oh, no. Oh. I understand how you feel, madam. Here is our pleasant little Manny. <laughs> he did it! The boy's a genius! He's invented the solid hologram! Grammy, back in your beaker. Sure, kid. I aim to please. So long, Dennis! I'm telling you, he did it! There is a hologram. Oh, him? He kind of went down the drain. Oh, no! These young geniuses are all alike, never there when you need them. I'm so fed up with them. I wish I had some older geniuses like Einstein now. Hi, genius. Dennis. Hello, Professor Squiggins. Hi, Phoebe. Hey, Phoebe, my boy. You're a real credit to the science program, my boy. But I'm not in the program. I've decided to stay in school with my friends. Oh, my. How disappointing. Dennis Mitchell, there you are. Sorry if we disturbed you, Professor. Come along, son. Okay. Bye, Professor. Bye, Rodney.
Now remember, Dennis, nine o'clock is bedtime and no tricks. But why can't our neighbor Judy stay with me? Because the last time Judy stayed with you, she almost had a nervous... Uh, uh, Judy decided she was too tired to come over tonight, dear. There he is. Good evening, Mr. Mitchell. Mrs. Mitchell? Thanks for coming. Where's Dennis? Well, he was just... Dennis, would you come out here, please? One hour back means 60 more minutes of fun for me. I'll be down in a sack. <laughs> he can have a snack, but... It's lights out at nine. No arguments. Oh, I'm sure Dennis will be no trouble. Yeah, I won't be no trouble. I'm just going to have some fun. Now, you know where the emergency numbers are. Oh, there you are. Hi, Dennis. I'm Marty. Ah! Dennis! A joy buzzer. I haven't seen one of those since... Well, better hurry or you'll be late for your party. Good luck, Marty. I just hope Dennis isn't too much... Well, good luck. Put her there, pal. Yow! Hey! <laughs> We're even. Oh, look at that. Huh? Look at what? Sorry, your mom said only one snack tonight. Okay, Dennis, I'm sure you've got this whole night planned, so what's first? Oh, Marty, it's so quiet, you can't even hear the cowboys fall off their horses. That's the alarm on my watch. It's 9 o'clock. And my watch doesn't lie. Okay, Dennis, that's enough brushing. It's time for bed. Dennis? Almost forgot. It's hide-and-seek time. Now, let's see, where would I hide if I was this tall? Yay! Marty, how do you know all this neat stuff? You see, when I was your age, I did the exact same things whenever someone stayed with me. Uh, you go in first, Marty. You're closer. Whatever you say. You got something stuck in your ears? Looking for this? Good night, Marty. Good night, Dennis. Wait. A guy's got to say his prayers. God bless Mom and Dad and Ruff and Mr. Wilson and Mrs. Wilson. And bless my frog, Willie, and Tommy's hamster, Fuzzball. And... and... Dennis, you've already asked for Tommy's hamster to be blessed three times. Well, good night, Marty. Good night, Dennis. Aww. Dennis, go back to bed. There's more than one way to outsmart a smart guy. Uh-oh. Who is this guy? Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell. Hello, Marty. How did everything go? Oh, it was easy. I just had to stay one step ahead of them. Hi, guys. But I, uh, I was sure. It happens to everyone, Marty. Maybe you can do this again next week? But how could he... I can't figure how...
Happy Jar!